No way. It went from running perfectly to not kicking. So is it seized up? I hope not. <laughs> All of a sudden it stalled out. God, I don't know why, but it's not kicking over. You're all good. Better call Jake. What's up? Hey, where are you? Down below where my dirt bike is. For some reason my bike just died. Yeah. I was wondering if you could uh, maybe bring down a flathead screwdriver and see if I can fix this thing real quick. Yeah, I'll be right down. All right, bye. How, how big of a flathead, Nolan? Uh, b a big one. I need to be saved. Okay, as you guys saw, I was just driving, you know, my dirt bike down the road, and then all of a sudden it died. I was trying to get up to Jake's house, and for some reason, the whole bike, like, hydro locked. It was running so good, it, it went a couple miles, and then all of a sudden just, I let, I pull the clutch and it just dies. And I look at the uh, oil level, and it's not creamy, like, gas got into the crankcase or anything like that. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna have Jake's on his way, Ugh. and I think Seth's with him too. So this will be fun once those guys get here. You like my helmet here? It's fly, right? Can't believe I need saving. This is crazy. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that it's warming up. I own two snowmobiles, but I also own two dirt bikes. What do you like better? Leave in the comment section below before Jake and Seth get here. Hurry up! Yep, it is. In the midnight sky. Hey, you, still, you guys still want to go to Aspen? Look <laughs> at every video I see nowadays, I broke down. Yeah, Cause look at this, are you kidding me? You got a flathead, buddy? You got oh, you got, you got a whole bunch of them. You have the worst luck. I know, here, let's set this down real quick. How come, uh... I don't know, man. All of a sudden it was just running really good, running really good, I pulled the clutch in, and then all of a sudden, duh. I try to kick it over and it's like, hydro locked. I think we just need to take the spark plug out and then kick it over. And it should be good. Are we gonna throw this in the back of your truck? I don't know if we can. I don't think it fit, Dalton. It won't kick over at all. Jake, look at this. Can we bump start it? I'm not bump starting it, it'll break the rod. Oh. Because if there's oil in there, oil doesn't combust. Well, let's, let's freaking throw it on the tailgate. You get a rope, Jake? No. You're gonna tow me home with a freaking truck, and you're gonna, I'm gonna fall off, and you guys are just gonna be like, <laughs> he fell off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We could tow you home, I guess. Just really, really slow. You Ten. got a rope? I can go get one. Maybe there's one in that dumpster there. Doubt it. What are our options, Jake? The options are, number one, go back home and pull it home at like 15, 20 miles an hour. Maybe wipe out or go home and then just not come back. <laughs> whoa, 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 you're gonna leave me in the dust? That doesn't make any sense. I, I say we turn the gas off and just lop it in here sideways. Are you kidding me right now? This is how we're doing it. Look at this, are you kidding me? It's like we went to Walmart and picked up a bicycle. This is way better than a rope. This is way safer. There's always gotta be a little bit of chaos. Otherwise, life wouldn't be any fun. It does smell like a dead deer in here. It smells like death. Hey. Oh, it's still in here? Well, I would imagine. Are you so. freaking kidding me? We are looking for this when we get back. I've looked all over. The vehicle's pretty spotless. I think it's in this thing. That's how you unload a dirt bike out of a... 
Is that the old TTR 125? Yes, sir. Is that your old bike? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it looks Fire. so much smaller. Yeah. So what do you got here? What the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> that, that actually <laughs> blends in pretty good. Considering how bad it could really be. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna rock this all summer at all the events. <laughs> well, yeah. I bet you it might not even make it for today. <laughs> it'll it'll bend and then you can rebend it. So we brought the dirt bike back into Jake's place. Jake, your shop is wonderful. I love it because nice. it's heated. I took the spark plug out to see if like it hydro locked, like there was too much gas or too much oil in the head and that locked it up. But after I took the spark plug out, like the spark plug's dry, even with the spark plug out, the bike doesn't kick over. So something seriously went wrong and I wasn't low on oil. Like if anything, I was like above the high mark a tiny bit. Maybe something broke loose and locked it up, but we'll find out after we ride. What am I riding, Jake? TTR 125. This bike right here. Like a clown car. We're taking her for a rip. I don't think I'm gonna keep up with the boys, but uh Did you hit some ice or too much rip? Too much gas. Too much gas. <laughs> Seth, what are you doing over here? This helmet guard keeps falling out. I don't know who broke it on me, maybe me. How yeah. long are the tappers you're using? Because <laughs> I can't help but notice that there's a head right here. <laughs> Yeah. And you're gonna put a screw through your freaking head. No, I put it in an angle, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, the angle's going towards his head. Look at it. Look at this. Okay. It says, be up. careful, buddy. Please be careful. I wish you luck. I, I am on the market for a helmet, too. My helmet's kind of shot. Scratch. Did it catch you? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Perfect. This day is just filled with enjoyment. <laughs> you broke that? Yeah, you hit hard. I know. Wow. Just like the good old days. Jake, you always gotta bring us to this hill. I know, I like it, that's why. <laughs> Jake's quite sure if he can get up the hill. TTR can do it, man. TTR's freaking dialed for this kind of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. I just can't find an opening. Right, right there? Yeah. Coming. Where? Jake's still in the ravine. The TTR made it out. And myself. The problem with his bike is he's got too much torque. He's just ripping it up. Wow, he's really far. He went way down on the other end. We're gonna go see how Jake's making out. I'm gonna leave my stuff here. He's stuck on the hill still. I love that thing. The DTR kicks butt. Jesus. 
What would you say? <laughs> I slid from up there, you can see my tracks. Yeah. All the way back down to here and I didn't wake up. Jake the Toilet Snake. Live in person. Nothing but pure ponies. <laughs> He can ride, can he? How'd you, how'd you save that? Woo! Good job, Jake! <laughs>